G'day. Welcome to the Anglers. My name's Mad Dan, there's Chicken, and this is the Anglers Grog Review. Thanks heaps for coming back. I had a week off, probably a little bit longer than that in reality, uh, but you know, that's what bloody happens with the old beer review show community life. Uh, so, changed jobs, got COVID. <coughs> the old bloody spicy cough. Uh, you know, it's not really all that it's all cracked up to be. I was crooked for maybe one, maybe two days. Just had to bloody isolate. Couldn't go anywhere. Taste, taste was no good. Now, for those uh, regulars of the show, you wanna, you wanna have a host of a fucking beer review show that can actually taste the beverage. So, I've had some time off, and now I'm back. Got the old taste buds back, and loving life. Uh, so, what else did I do? Went to go see Smashing Pumpkins at the Kryl Castle, just out in Ballarat. Absolute ripper of a show. And the other night, there was a, uh, a forecasted geomagnetic storm, otherwise called gravity storm, or angles. Now, me and my wife, we love going out and photographing the old aurora, the southern lights, the aurora australis, some would call it. So... In honour of the Aurora Australis, I've picked up this one here. It's called Sky Light, or Lights in the Sky. It's a bloody, it's a, uh, it's a Nine Inch Nails song as well. Uh, so Sky Light, it's from the Molly Rose Brewing Company. It's an IPA, that's 5.7% uh, on the dot. Uh, there's a sticker on here, it says, seven dollars uh molly rose uh where are they they are located in collingwood in uh victoria just out of just out of melbourne uh it's a 1.7 standard drinks 375 mil can uh it's not really much happening on that can at all uh there's no story uh there's no ingredients actually there are some words now this classic West Coast IPA shines with bright citrus hey? uh, and stone fruit hop aromas and finishes with a dry clean bitterness. Okay, I like the idea of a dry clean bitterness. The uh, stone fruits and lemons can probably fuck off a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, let's give this one a little bit of a look in the glass. We'll see how it goes. Firstly, Give it the old test. Okay, nothing to write home about. A little bit of juice. You know what? I'm gonna give that one a four. I was hoping for more. Uh, let's give this one a pour now. Now the old bloody southern lights are grouse. The, uh, the spot where I was at, uh, it looked like there was trees, uh, but my wife said, nah, that's cows. How good's that? Bloody, look the goods on the bloody time-lapse thing. Uh, okay. Getting a bit of, bit of smells here. Yeah. Smells fruity. So off to a bad start. Uh, Give this one a little bit of a taste. Ah, okay. There's bitterness there, it's gone. It didn't take long, it didn't stick around, and the taste... Ah, 
Look, you know what? I've had better. I've actually had heaps better. Uh, it's, it's something about it. It seems quite... There's a real, real kick of bitterness. Gotcha. It's gone. But then what you're left with is just this bad taste. The beer itself is quite thin. You know what? It's the anglers. I'm out here, I'm doing a show, talking a little bit of shit, so let's just stop talking and let's give it a go. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up. Sure. <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh. Fierce. Absolutely. Carnivorous. That fucking burp was ripping the shit out of my throat. Ugh. But you know what? That taste has not changed. It starts off with this crazy bitterness that tries tries to hide the thin, bad taste that it will leave in your mouth. Skylight by Molly Rose Brewing. Cool name. Tick. Can not real exciting. Yeah. They mention fruits on the front. Okay, you've got me offside. As for a score, the taste, the smell, everything about it, I wasn't a fan. That's a 13 out of 42. Thanks very much for watching. Tell your friends.